Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about canonical form. Boolean function expressed as sum of min terms or product of max terms are said to be in canonical form. Now, every Boolean function can be expressed as sum of min terms. Suppose this is a function f and we have to transform into as a sum of min terms. We have to express it as a sum of min terms. So first of all, we will check for the missing variables in each n term. Now, for each missing variable L in the end term, we will end the term with L plus L naught. Now see, this function f equals to x plus y naught z. So in this end term, there are two missing binary variables y and z. So first we will end it with y plus y naught. So the term will become xy plus xy naught. Now we will add it. Now these two terms has missing variable z. Z is missing from these both terms. So we will add z plus z complement with these two terms. So when we add z plus z complement with these two terms, we will get xyz xyz plus xyz naught plus xy naught z plus xy naught z naught. Now look at this term y naught z. X variable boolean value uh, binary variable x is missing from this term. So what will we do? We will end this term with x plus x complement. So it will become x y naught z plus x naught y naught z. Now in function f we will replace x by these terms and y naught z by these two terms. So the function f will become f equals to xyz plus xyz naught plus xy naught z plus xy naught z naught plus x naught y naught z. In this way, we can express any Boolean function as a sum of min terms. Now, every Boolean function can also be expressed as product of max terms. So, what we have to do, first we will have to bring the function into a form of R terms. Now, for each missing variable L in R term, R term must be R with L and L naught. Suppose there is a function f equals to ab plus a naught c and we have to express this function in a form of a product of max terms. So there is a rule x plus y z right equals to x plus y and x plus z by using this rule we can write this right hand side of a boolean function as a b plus a naught and a b plus c now again we will apply this rule then it would become a naught 
plus a, a naught plus b, a plus c and b plus c. And we know that a plus a naught equals to 1. Then what will left? a naught b. Now in this first term, there is a missing variable that is c. So we will or it with c and c naught. Right? There is a missing variable in this term that is b. So we will or it with b and b naught. In third term, there is a missing variable a. So we have or this term with a and a naught. Now again we will apply this to x plus y z equals to x plus y and y x plus z. So it would become right a plus c plus b and a plus c plus b naught right now we have to apply this uh, rule in this term then it would become b plus c plus a and b plus c plus a naught so in this way we can express any boolean function as a product of max terms. Thank you very much.